and Marie history made after three, you know, disappointing attempts at getting to the semi-final stage of intermediate. He finally got over the line today. Yeah, like someone said before the match, um, it was said that we were kind of like the Irish rugby team at this stage. The quarterfinals just didn't suit us. Last year we didn't even get out of our group like and that hurt. So we took all that hurt, all that experience for the last from the last four years um, and brought it here today. And what a performance by the girls. Like I'm so proud of them. I'd say I, your hearts must have been your mouths in those final few minutes. <laughs> so the clock was just ticking by. We were going... You know, six minutes, maybe turn into seven or eight. Oh. Probably felt like a, a bit longer on the field, but, you know, what a, as you said, what a performance by the girls. Yeah, when I saw six minutes at a time going off, I was like, oh God. But when Jackie was standing over that free to put two points in it, like some pressure on her and what a phenomenal game she had again. Like she's an absolute leader of this team and like Patrice as well coming off there. She was so disappointed, but she played such a big part in that first half as well. And we had leaders all over the field, but I think the two that stood out for me were our midfield today, Cuiva and Ruth. Like they were just incredible. And Ruth's only just turned 18. Like what a, what a performer. And like this has been building for the last few years. You know, 2019, you got over the line and, and finally won the, the junior premier. And now you've been in intermediate for the last few years and you've held your own. I know last year it just didn't go your way to get into this knockout stage, but... You know, you've built, and I say there, you know, yourself, Jackie, all the other girls that have been there and gone through the wars over the years. And then you have those younger players that are coming through and you've managed to build the blocks and they're taking their chances. And they're, again today, proving that there is massive growth in the sport in Kerry. Oh, absolutely. Like there's such competition for places now, which probably wasn't there before. You could probably pick the 15, whereas now if there's a match on Saturday, you're in there on Thursday night and you have no idea if you're going to be playing or not. Um, and that's competition that's needed. We need the girls coming on to be finish out the match and nearly be stronger than the girls starting. And that's exactly what happened here today. Like, they really saw out the game. And I'm just so happy where Camogie is in Kerry. You know, like, they have such a brilliant attitude. We're not happy with being second best. Like, we want to keep progressing. We want to be playing the better teams. And being in Division 1 this year, I think, really kind of opened our eyes as to the level we need to get to. And we're ambitious so we want to get to that level and it's been a massive turnaround from that league performance into the championship and now you look forward to coming back here in two weeks time and playing a team like Kilkenny who you've had history with down in Ixna in the group stage you know them they know ye and it'll be another big battle yeah definitely like we hadn't played Kilkenny before this year um, I think we kind of gave them a little bit of respect in Clarny or in Ixna and um, no we're, we're going to really really take confidence from that performance it wasn't perfect there was patches that we left Galway back into it so we'll look at that and really drive on from the next two weeks now and there is full belief in this team that we're 60 plus minutes away from an All-Ireland final in Crow Park like